Hi, um, I'm Stephen Lee, and if you're watching this video, uh, it's that you're planning on enrolling in Chem 2070 in a few days, and you're going to be taking the class in, in just a little over a week. And because of this crazy 2020 world, um, you don't know as much as you normally would know about what this class is all about. You know, it's it's Gen Chem, first semester Gen Chem. It's the main Gen Chem class at Cornell. And it's taken by a wide range of students. Many of them are, are pre-med. Uh, many will go on to PhDs. Uh, and um, uh, that's the class that you know about. But you may not know about is what are the features of the class, which is that it's both a lecture and a lab portion of the course. Right now, just looking at uh, enrolling, it looks like the lab portion is the big, uh, the big item. But uh, the truth of the matter is, in Chem 2070, the labs are important, but the main part of the course are the lectures. Uh, there are 1,000 points in Chem 2070. 200 of the points are lab-based, and 800 of the points are lecture-based. Uh, I will be in charge of the uh, lecture portion of the course, uh, Dr. Cynthia Kinsland will be in charge of the lab portion. And I just want very quickly to go over some of the things that are going to have to happen or will happen in the lecture portion so you can see what's going on. I want to keep this video as short as I can. Okay, so uh, what's the idea? <clears throat> Chem 2070. So the lecture portion. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the lectures every week. So two 50-minute lectures, week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, and then we see how well you learned the lecture material, uh, we give you an exam. Uh, this this first exam you get in Chem 2070, for many of you, will be your first science, science STEM exam, and it, it can come if you're a freshman. It can come as a, as a shock. And that's because, although... The lectures are two hours a week. At Cornell, in st uh, uh, the, uh, the rule is that for every credit you take, uh, you're supposed to work three hours. And so uh, there, uh, Chem 2070 is a, a four credit course. A little over one credit is the lab. But basically, three credits is a lecture. Uh, you're supposed to work nine hours a week. Uh, and that means the lecture is two of the nine hours, and there's another seven to go. A lot of freshmen, they, they don't know how to use those seven hours, and we've decided, uh, since there are so many freshmen in Chem 2070, to help explain what's the best way to do the seven hours. Uh, first, you should spend around half an hour before each lecture uh, going over some prep work. And we will have specific exercises, so before lectures you can go to, uh, well, you'll learn, uh, uh, be prepared, learn about what's going to be in the lecture before the lecture, so you can get as much information from the lecture as possible. Lectures are quick. And then that's not enough. You need to spend some time after the lecture to make sure you remember the things you learned and process it. And so there's some going to be some post-lecture problems in the course. So every lecture, half an hour of pre-lecture prep, around one hour of post-lecture prep uh, of problems. So that puts you at around four hours of the of the uh, so-called uh, nine hours you're supposed to do. There's there should be more time spent, and what should be spent? It should be spent on doing problems closer and closer to the problems on the exam, which is going to come every week, and you need to do this every week. And so we have exam prep. What's that going to look like in terms of your schedule? So here's Chem 2070. Here's the week. And the thing you know about in the registrar's office right now is uh, you're taking one of these three lectures. Okay. There's going to be a 24 to 36 hour period before the lecture. There will be the, uh, the, the pre-lecture uh, pre prep, which you'll do, and you should not spend more than half an hour on it. And uh, then after one of the three lectures, 24, 36 hour period, uh, there will be the post-lecture problems and uh, spend around an hour doing problems. That'll get, make sure you understand the lecture material. And as you can see, that leaves around a little less than the half of the week empty, and that's where we do uh, exam problems. First, we do uh, preliminary problems in flip class, which is required, and then there's a, a totally voluntary activity. You get no credit for it, 
where you do peer led exam prep uh, run by the, the TAs in the class, uh, the undergraduate TAs, uh, and um, where you actually do problems, uh, which I write, which are uh, really at the same level as the exam problems. You do this every week. After four or five weeks, you take the exam, and things go pretty well. Uh, let me show you that. Last year, so this is the study method. Uh, yeah, it worked. Uh, if you follow this procedure and you have to go to do the cycle every week, then you went to peer led every week, uh, seven to ten of the weeks. And uh, um, students who did that, uh, around 40% got an A, 40% got a B, and 20% got a C. Uh, students who decided to study their own methods, they didn't you know, want to follow the, the, the things that, that I suggested, uh, who therefore didn't go to peer led, uh, 7% got an A, 30% uh, got a B, uh, half the class got a C, a C from that group, and, and uh, 10, 10, 15% got a D or an F. So um, the study method works. It's, um, it seems like a lot of, of things, but it's designed to, to help you do the best we can, and uh, that's really all we're trying to do. So um, welcome. I hope this helped clear up a little bit of what's going to be happening in 2070 itself. And um, I'll give you one more v uh, video later to, to give you the exact choices that you'll have to make because there's lots of different ways to study. And uh, welcome. Bye.